welcome you back to Black Side First. I'd like for you to subscribe to this channel. Hit that like button. Also, hit that notification button. And please comment on the video. We're going to talk about Robert F. Smith, the richest black man in America, estimated worth $6 billion, is under criminal investigation. He is the owner of the Vista Group, one of the most successful groups in America. The federal government is looking into $200 million that he possibly took offshore without paying taxes. But I believe Robert F. Smith is under investigation because he finally came out and started supporting black organizations, black groups, black colleges. You know what he did at Morehouse College when he donated that he would pay for everyone's tuition, their student loans, excuse me. But he also came out, paid for George Floyd's funeral, but he also did something else. He talked about us getting reparations from the federal government. I have always told you in earlier videos that this government, this deep state, when they go after black men today, they can't assassinate, it and assassinate you like they did in the past, like with Malcolm Martin and so many others. But what they'll do is they'll destroy your character. They'll drag you in court. And finally, you will be disgraced in front of your own community. Likewise, if you want to look at certain situations, look at Bill Cosby. After Bill Cosby stepped up, tried to buy NBC Universal, all of a sudden, several years later, he's under investigation for whatever you want to call it with these women. We know this man is innocent, but they wanted to disgrace him in front of his community. And basically, everything he worked for in his whole life will be put to rest because of what they have done. They have also done it to Michael Jackson. Michael Jackson, one of the most successful artists that ever walked the face of the earth, if not the most successful artist. What did Michael Jackson do what was wrong? He bought, he had the Sony Music Collection. At one time, when you have that collection, you are the most powerful person in the music industry that most black people never knew about. People like David Geffen, Paul McCartney hated Michael Jackson because of the power that he had. He actually owned the Beatles catalog and so many other groups. And Sony finally got it back after his death. They paid $750 million but they wanted that catalog back. Whenever a black man takes a step forward and tries to gain power within this economic system, there will be ramifications for him doing that. You becoming an uppity nigga. See, as long as you stay quiet and you keep your money, but you don't help your people, you're okay. But when you start talking those words, when you start getting involved in your community, when you're trying to make things better, that's when the government comes after you. If you notice, your first black president, Barack Obama, he says good speeches. He tries to deliver for the Democrat Party. But what has he actually done in the black community since he left the presidency? Only thing I see him doing, he's running around out there with Richard Branson, skydiving on the boat. But what programs have he had? Has he gone back into the community as he said he used to be a community organizer? No. You know why? Because once he steps into the fire, all of a sudden, the deep state, those who really control America, will come after President Obama. See, when you get to these levels, you are supposed to only do so much. Basically, your real job is to keep the Negros in line, deliver the votes for the Democrat Party. But once you step out, once you become that so-called pro-black, 
you become an enemy of the state. And Robert F. Smith is now possibly facing charges where he possibly will have to pay that money back or he will possibly have to spend time in jail. You have to understand, this is how they have always kept us in the position that we're in today. They will take the best among us, the most successful among us, and they will bring them out front and they will crucify him in front of the public and we will even turn on him. And it will teach others who are coming up in that position. If you try and gain real power in America, you will be crucified too. Robert F. Smith's wealth, his good name, his prestige that he built over the past 35 or 40 years is on a line similar to Bill Cosby. All the years he worked to build up his good name, it all fell apart once he got into the judicial system and they labeled him a offender. They did the same thing to Michael Jackson. Even though the FBI looked into him for 10 years and found nothing, it was not just about the money. It was about him trying to gain power within the system. See, they don't mind you making money. You can make all the money you want, but when you take that next step and you want the power, you want power over a certain industry, this is when they come after you. And they're coming after Robert Smith. Now, Robert Smith has the money to fight back, like Michael Jackson did, like Bill Cosby did. But it may not be enough when you're in their judicial system. And what will happen if he is charged? You will hear all kind of leaks out to the business media, to the mainstream media, by the deep state, saying that this man is corrupt and that he needs to go to jail and he needs to lose his wealth. And the problem about that is that you have so many other people in America who should be in jail, but they're not. Look at all the bankers during the 2008 financial crisis. How many of them from Lehman, Goldman Sachs, and other banks have gone to jail? When they asked President Obama on 60 Minutes, why didn't they go to jail? He said they made errors. So they were walking the street with multi-millions of dollars in the bank. But they won't do that with Robert F. Smith. They will make Robert F. Smith, if charged, pay for his crimes. And not only that, they will extract his wealth from him. Because that's what they really want to do. And they will show you that all your successful black men, if not in sports, business, entertainment, they will taint every black man who's successful. Because they don't want you to see that. They don't want you to attain to the goals that Robert F. Smith has attained to. See, this is just bigger than a crime that's on Wall Street. Because, damn it, you could put Donald Trump in jail right now. And so many others. But this man, they will try and prosecute him. Just to let you know who's still in charge. Robert F. Smith may have a fight on his hands. He's got the money to fight it. But we must stand aside and fight with him, even though some of you won't because he's married to a white woman. Sometimes it's bigger than that. It's about justice. And we must fight for that. I want to thank you for listening to The Black Site. I hope you subscribe to this channel. Smash that like button. And also, 
share this video.